Oh my God, it's such a blessing to be able to pray to you. Unfortunately, it took me a long time to learn this. Oh God, please fill my heart with love for you and fill my heart with the light of faith. Help me to be obedient. Help me to learn to recognize the opportunities you send. Let me love the ones you love. Accept my penance and guide me so that I am not tempted to stray from your path again. Murat, if Efe is not with us now, God must have a reason for it. We must trust in his divine plan. I'm grateful that I understand that now. looking for? Hmm, nothing. I'm just trying to figure out where I should start. That was really delicious. Thank Let you, dear. You little Let thief. go! I'm taking you to your mother. I didn't do anything! I'm sure she'll be Let really happy to know her boy's a Please, thief. Please, let me go! Come on. No, you come with me. Please let me go. I'm what are you sorry. doing stealing things at your age? Is this what you want to do when you grow up? I just took uh. two apples. What's so you admit deal? it, huh? Well, this is what happens to thieves. Wait, stop. Uh. Take it easy there. I just caught this kid stealing from my store. Is this true? Show me. <sighs> Mr. Byram, I have a favor. Could you please forgive him this time? Money's not the point, Murat. I know, but take this anyway. It's the principle. Would you please take this? You're not doing him a bit of good, Murat. So do you feel ashamed of yourself? Here, take these. Look, if you make a habit of this, you'll regret it. Those two apples could ruin your life. While your friends are off going to school, you'll be in jail. So no more, okay? Look. Our house is right here. If you ever need something, and you don't have the money to pay for it, come to us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead then. Murat! Why are you in such a strange mood today? Hey mom, do you remember that time when I was about nine? And you and I went to visit your cousin Yahya? I think it was in Golu. Yes, it was Golu. Why are you thinking about Yahya? It's been years since you've been out there. 
I've been thinking about the first time I stole something. I guess this one should be easy. Don't ever assume anything, hey, Marat. Hey, compared to the rest of the stuff I've done, stealing two apples is nothing. Do you really think the owner of that orchard wouldn't forgive me for a couple apples? <laughs> How's it going today? Good, Marat. Hey, Ibrahim, can I take the truck today? Or do you need it? No, you take it. The deliveries are all finished. Thanks a lot, Ibrahim. You know, Marat, you'd think that I was the boss. I mean, really, why do you think you need to ask my permission? <laughs> I'm not really the boss either. The bakery's just entrusted to me. I'll see you later. What do you want, Suna? Murat, please wait. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry, Murat. I'm so sorry for everything. I was wrong, and I was stupid, and I was scared. I don't care. I divorced you without discussing it with you. I was horrible to your mother, and I never came to visit you in prison. I was the reason they took F.A. away from you. I lied to them about you. So why are you telling me all this, Suna? I want to repent. I want to repent just like you. Oh yeah? That's so? Then what do you want from me? To forgive me. See ya, Ibrahim. If you deserve to be forgiven, then why shouldn't I, Murat? Come inside. Let me get you something to drink. Come. How could you do that, Dad? You could have at least given him a chance to get Efe back again. Efe loves Murat as if he were his dad. Merve, don't forget Efe has a father who's in prison. And I wonder what he'll think of Murat when he finds out what he did to Efe. Let's see if he'd rather the state ended up with custody or this abusive dirtbag. Well, if that's the case, then why does Efe want to go with Murat so badly? Sweetheart, the kid is only six years old, but you're almost 25. You should be acting your age and using better judgment than him. Besides, I bet you have better things to do than waste your time on this guy, huh? I'll have the guys drop you off at the hospital. I'm off today. Yes? Excuse me. We just received a report of a runaway at the Lale Bache orphanage. They found him missing this morning. Who is this kid? Do they give a name? It's F.A. Chellen, sir. Thank you, officer. So, you should listen to your father. The guy you're trying so hard to protect kidnapped a child. So no more sneaking around trying to help this loser out because I forbid you to. Obviously, he's been playing you. And I'm disappointed in you for not recognizing that yourself. Recep. I need you to contact the judge for a search warrant. Murat Yalmiz. For kidnapping, that's right. Hmm. Oh. Sweetheart, do you have a mother or father? No, I just have an Uncle Murat. And where does your Uncle Murat live?
What's wrong with the car? You need some help? Mm -hmm. Is it the engine? Mm -hmm. Here, let me take a look. You get behind the wheel. Go. Keep going. I'm gonna give it a push. See if that works. Put it in neutral. Shouldn't you be back there in your own car? When I'm towing, someone's got to be back there to steer. It just won't work. Did you tell me your name? I'm guessing your son's not at home. No. He kidnapped F.A. I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. Murat would never harm F.A. I'd really like to know why everyone seems hell-bent on protecting him, and I'm the only one that sees through him. So then. Excuse me, please. Hey, I guess I forgot to ask you which way you're going. That way? All right. The suspect's not here, sir. If you're finished here, I'd be happy to show you out. What is this? There are a whole bunch of names here. What are they all for? They're reminders. They're a reflection of my son's conscience. His conscience? 
He goes and asks forgiveness from all these people. He's trying to make amends for all that he's done wrong. <laughs> I think he's a little late for that. Thank you. We're close. I know where my Uncle Marat's Remember house is Remember not to here. wander too far from your home again, okay? Don't worry, I won't. Talib, what happened? Did the car break down again? I think it's something simple. It shouldn't take a mechanic long to fix. Mm. <clears throat> Can I ask you something? Talib went out one day when he was 11 years old, and he came back home like this. He hasn't spoken a single word ever since that day. He's seen so many doctors, but they can't do anything for him. <laughs> Talib, my name's Murad. Thank you. It's my pleasure, ma'am. Could you tell me, I was trying to find the way to Uncle Yahya's place? Just make a right down here at the end of the road. Then ask anyone you see. They'll show you the way. Thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. Take care. Hello? Ibrahim, it's Melek. I'm sorry to keep calling, but is Murat back yet? I really need to speak with him. Oh my gosh. Please have him call me when he's back. So I need to ask you, what brings you around these parts? Do you remember that big apple orchard that used to be around here? Next to that big old empty house? Yeah. You know who it belonged to? Why on earth do you need to know that? Because that's why I came here. Remember what I told you about? Ah, that would be Borhan's orchard. Do you plan on going over there now to apologize? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go ahead then. He still lives next to the orchard. Tell him I say hello. <laughs> I hope that he can forgive you. I know. A couple of apples don't seem that important, but I still want to explain myself to him. Then get going. You have a lot to explain, son. Hi, how's it going? Everything okay? Doing fine, thank you. Do you know where I can find Burhan Seskin? Uh, do me a favor and bring me that rock over there. Hmm. Right on top, the, the big one. Okay. Thank you for that. I'm Borhan. I have something that I need to tell you, sir. Go ahead, then. When I was small, we used to come here a lot. We would come to visit my Uncle Yahya. Eh? And, uh, I was here one day when I was a little kid, and I picked some apples. Yeah? Ah! So you stole them! Huh. That's right. I did. I came to ask your forgiveness for taking them. You stole some apples when you were a kid, and now you've come all this way to ask me to forgive you. <laughs> I know it sounds bizarre, but 
It's really important to me. Nah, it's not that important at all. Just some apples. <laughs> <laughs> but I still won't forgive you. Wait, you won't? Why? Does it matter? Am I required to? No, but I'll do anything that you want me to. Really, I will. You'll do anything I want you to? Yes, I will. That's why I came out here. Good. Well, I've started building this wall. Now you can finish building it to my height. When you're done, I need you to build the same thing over on that side. Before you start, bring me a drink of water. And see to it you bring me a clean glass. Here. Where's my Uncle Marat? F.A., what are you doing out of the office? I hate it there. I'm not going back. How did you get away from there? I'm sure they're all out looking for you. It's your fault. It's all your fault. I want my Uncle Marat. All right, then. Come on in. Your Uncle Marat will be back soon. Come on in. Your eyes are all red. Haven't you slept at all? I was crying. <laughs> you poor little guy. <sighs> mm. <sighs> there you go. I finished it. All right, then. Goodbye. Is there anything you want to say to me? Yes. Come with me. Pull up those weeds here, and then turn over the soil with a spade. Make sure you turn it over real good. Good luck. Thanks again. I'll be back in a little while. a long time. What happened? Is everything okay? He forgive you? <laughs> You'll never believe what happened. He made me build a stone wall, and now he wants me to plow his field. He wouldn't <laughs> forgive me for taking two stupid apples. It's not like I killed someone. Don't forget that it's the principle, Murat. You rest up a little, and then you'll be fine. Isn't it more important that you're forgiven for what you did? It is, but he's just asking so much. Then you're just going to have to bear what you can stand. There's a reason for everything. You never know when one apple can separate the good from the bad. 
I know that you're right, Uncle Yahya. But this guy's making it really difficult. Remember, when you stand before God, you will have atoned for all of your sins, won't you? So now you need to take care of your business and let that man answer to the Almighty for his own actions. Where did Suna go? I'm sure she's around here. He's inside. He ran away and came here. Thank you for coming so fast. Come on in. May I help you, officer? He was just here a minute ago. Officer, he's running away! Get him! Go! Stop, kid! Hey, get back here! Where'd he go? Efe? Merve! They're going to take me back, Merve. I want to be with Uncle Murat. I don't want to go back there. I want to be with my family. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Hey, good work. Come on, follow me. Hey, come here and have a seat. some good blisters you have there. It's not so bad. I take it, you're still looking for forgiveness, huh? Mm -hmm. If you'll give it. Hmm? Hmm. I guess I probably could. All right. All right. I forgive you your said, Marat. Mm -hmm. But I also have a brother, you know. Hmm? He owns 50% of this orchard. So you'll need to ask his forgiveness, too. <coughs> All right, don't worry. You okay? Marat, wait, come back. Here, take this. I wrote down my brother Irfan's address for you. If he forgives you, too, then you're all set. 
Take care. You're a good Thanks. kid. Thanks. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. One for the road. <laughs> F.A. dear, I think you should go back. No, no, no. Then Uncle Marat can come and pick you up, huh? No, they won't let him take me. But why do you think that? Because Uncle Marat used to be in jail. He used to steal things like my dad did. They don't like him. What if I can make them like him? What's she still doing here? F.A. What about F.A.? He ran away. What do you mean? Where is he? I tried to get him to come back. I ran after him, screaming his name, but he just kept running. It's a great story, Suna. Grandma Melek! Oh, oh, my baby boy. Grandma I was Malek. so worried about you. Tell me where you've been. Hmm? Why did you go and run away? Huh? I missed you when I wanted to come home. Oh. 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 I'm sorry to keep you standing here. Thank you for bringing him to us. I'm Malik. I'm Marat's mother. Hi. My name's Merve. So you're Merve then. Where is Uncle Marat, Grandma? No. He's not home just yet. Please, dear, come inside and have a drink. You can tell me where you found this little rascal. Come in, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. Efe, <laughs> go and wash your hands now, you little monkey. You're incredibly filthy. <laughs> Is he going back to the orphanage? I don't think anyone but Marat can make him go back there. Marat hasn't been around all day. Oh my goodness. I don't know how much more I can take. brought us a little surprise, Marat. Uncle Marat! F.A. Don't send me back. Listen, F.A. I need you to do something brave for me. What's that? Excuse me, sir. They brought the kid back. Who brought the kid back? Efe? I don't want to go back. Efe, buddy. I need to do whatever's best for you. Then why can't you let me stay with Uncle Marat? We talked about this. Come on, buddy. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to. So let's not give them any trouble now. Hmm? I'm trusting in God that you'll take good care of him.
Thank you, Merve. I wish I could do something to help. Everything happens for a reason. You just don't have to like it. All right, he's on his way. No, he's no worse for the wear. No problem, you take care. Please, tell me why you're doing this. Why I'm doing what? What could he have possibly done to you to make you lose all sense of justice? It's like you're just out for revenge or something like that. Merve, that's absolutely ridiculous. What do you want me to do? This is no longer my jurisdiction, you know. This is for family services to deal with. You and I both know there are plenty of things you could do. You could go and speak with Efe's father. You could speak with family services. It's evident how much Marat loves him. And you've met his mother. Melek's a good woman and would take much better care of him than that orphanage ever would. Oh, really? I take it then that you're siding with these people rather than with your father who's been doing this for years. Okay, I'm sure there's something I can do. But on one condition, though. Under no circumstances will you be in contact with that man. In other words, Murat Yalniz is going to instantaneously disappear from your life forever, huh? Understand? I trust we have a deal, then. <sighs> and then what happened? Then he made me clear his fields, too. Mm. I think I'm gonna have these blisters forever. <laughs> you made God happy with those blisters, Marat. You couldn't have done better than that. You're right about that. And if it weren't for Uncle Yahya, I would have just given up. He talked me out of it. He said one apple could separate a good person from a bad person, just like that. <sighs> you should always listen to your Uncle Yahya. I wonder who that could be. Who would have thought? An apple. Hello? Oh, that's wonderful news. What is it, Mom? We'll be there tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for calling. Bye. Uh. What is it, Mom? Guess what? They've decided that we can have Efe back. Who did? His father signed off on all of the forms. Efe can stay with us now. <sighs> did I lock the front door? Yeah, you locked it. But why do you keep on asking? I don't know why I keep asking you. I'm just so nervous about all of this. Mom, if you're gonna keep acting like this, that kid's gonna be spoiled rotten. Uh, I think I get to spoil him. I love him like he's my second whoa, son. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just not forget how great your first son is. Uh, don't tell me you're jealous of a little boy, <laughs> big baby. So, are you happy, Efe? I'm very happy, sir. They'll be here soon. Efe? Uh, oh, my darling. <laughs> Oh, oh, my boy, my boy. This is so good. I'm glad you like it. I'll make it for you all the time. Eat some more. Please excuse me, Mom. Wish me luck. I'll definitely need it today. <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry? I have to go to the bakery. Then I've got to go settle up the apple thing. God only knows what Burhan's brother's gonna ask me to do. Remember, it's for a good cause. Would you like a cup of tea? Maybe a muffin? No, thanks. I'm not Thank hungry. you, sir. 
How are you doing this morning? Can I have a word with you? Suna. This has to stop. It has. You're lying to me. I swear to you, I've learned my lesson, Marad. I promise you. Give me the same chance you gave yourself. You and I are no different. Don't deny me this chance. Okay. Go back in. I have a few things to do. You can help Ibrahim out in the shop. Thank you, Marat. Thank you. Hey. What do you need to go do? Hello. Uh, is Irfan Sezgin here, please? I am Irfan. Your brother Burhan sent me to see you. I'm Marat. Okay. I did something when I was a lot younger. I came to ask for your forgiveness. <laughs> I stole a couple apples from your orchard. I was just a kid. You know how kids can be. When did this happen? I think it must have been around 1981. Get out of here! Oh God, now what? What could I have done? Sir, please, open up the door. For God's sake, open up the door. I was just a kid, I made a mistake. Please sir, let me make up for what I did to you. Please answer me. Hmm. Please, come back. Please open the door. Irfan, who is that man yelling at our front Open door? Open the door, please. <sighs> Irfan, Irfan! At least give me the chance to make it up to you. <sighs> no, I'm not forgiving you. Now get out of here before <sighs> I shoot you. Get! I'm not leaving this spot until you tell me what happened. Get the hell out of here now! Get out! Please leave us alone, please! I do to this man? Dear God. <laughs> Why would he make such a big deal over an apple? What the hell could I have done? Oh, this is bad. Oh. What did I do? Maybe Burhan and Irfan argued over it. Maybe they haven't spoken since then. What? What? What happened? What is it? Morat, his time has come. That's the way life is sometimes. Burhan's resting peacefully now. Don't blame yourself for what happened. It was because of me that they weren't speaking with each other. What gave you that idea? 
Irfan and Burhan. They were tremendously close. Of course, Burhan was hurt when Irfan moved to the city. But he wasn't angry with him. They actually saw each other often or talked on the phone. So they weren't mad at each other? No, not at all. Irfan didn't like the village much. He preferred the city, so we haven't seen much of him in 20 years or so. I have to get going. Wait a minute. You're in no state to leave yet. Uh, why don't you give your mom a call so she doesn't worry? Okay. She should know where I am. Sorry for your loss. I forgive you. Should we get going? Let's go. I'm gonna have to head home soon. Grandpa! Come here, you little garden gnome. Give me a hug. You'd stay outside and play all day long if I let you. You like it out here that much, huh? Were you collecting ladybugs again? Or what were you up to this time, my little buttercup? Here, come let's have a seat right over here. Did you just say something to me? 
Talib. Yes, what about Talib? What happened that made Talib stop speaking? No one really knows. He went out to play one summer day and came back in not speaking. When did it happen? Oh, it was years ago now. You and your mom were here visiting at the same time. What's going on, Talib? <laughs> Listen, I need to ask you something. Uh, Why is it that you stopped talking? Mm. Was it because of Irfan? <laughs> Talib! Talib! Talib, come back! Talib! 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 <laughs> Stop! Uh, uh, Talib, look at me. Look at me, Talib. It was all my fault. It's because of me. I'm the one who stole those apples. But you took the blame for it. Okay? Get back here, you little punk. Uh, ah. I didn't do ah. it. I didn't do it. Hey, shut up. Uh, shut the uh, hell up. Uh, ah. uh, I said shut up. Uh, I didn't Lie do to it. me on top I of everything I else. Ah. I didn't do it, sir. I swear I didn't do it. Talib. I... 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 I didn't do it. Every day of my life I've regretted what I did to you. I didn't know it would turn out like this. How could I know? Then he came to me and said it was him. I didn't know what I should do. I thought about it. I thought about it a long time. It's been so long. I couldn't even tell my own brother what I did to you. I'd like to make it up to you. I'd like to give you something if you would accept it. All of this is now yours, Tully. The house is yours. This orchard. I don't know if it will make up for what I did to you. I hope you can forgive me. Hmm. Talib, please tell me how I can make it up to you. I did something very bad as well. I'll do whatever I can for you, no matter what it is. And I hope that someday you can forgive me. I forgive you. <laughs> Huh. 
I was going to come by the hospital, but I saw you here instead. I want to thank you for everything you've done for me, for sticking up for me and Efe, and for your courage. Thank you. Thanks. I don't want to see you anymore, so please stay away. Can I get a loaf of bread? Of course. Here you go. Hello, everyone. Hello there, Melek. Ibrahim, you have to close your eyes. Okay, open them. Now you gotta guess which one. Mm -hmm. Nope, guess again. Oh, why are you just standing there? One more At least time. Have a this seat. one. Wrong again. Close your eyes, Grandma Melek. <laughs> now open them. Now you gotta guess which hand. Mm. This one. Not this one. Okay, now close your eyes again. Mm. <sighs> Open them. Mm. This one. You're right. Okay, I'm out of here. One more time. I just have a few things to take care of. Bye bye. Hold on. I'll be right back in a second, okay? Then it's your turn, Ibrahim. Ibrahim, close your eyes again. Suna? Suna, wait me alone. Please. I'm in a hurry. Please wait. Please wait. I need to talk to you. Do you know how many people have a right to that money? If you need money, ask Marat for it. But this isn't the way to go about it. Are you accusing me of something? Do you think you're a better person than I am? Because guess what? I blame you for our divorce. How can you? Do you even hear the words coming out of your mouth? How could you say those things to me? Because you accused me of stealing. Come on, Suna. Please. I'm not trying to make you look bad at all. Or to hurt your feelings. Look, why don't we sit down and talk Get off about me! It? Don't touch me! You should be ashamed of yourself calling me a thief. Melek, get up. Melek, get up now. Melek, get up. Melek, get up. Please get up. Somebody help us. Anybody? Marat. Marat. Marat, oh my god. What is it? It's your mom. Melek's passed out. Huh? Please go. Go. there. 